Scorpio, this is Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Scorpio, this is going to be your uh, general love and relationship uh, reading for the month of May 2016. Uh, Scorpio, let me get right into uh, your messages that are coming through. And I have to be honest with you, uh, you got such a, excuse me, a mixed bag of energy here. It made my own damn head spin. Uh, so just bear with me as I try to pull things uh, together. And keep in mind, I'm not covering any other area or aspect of your life. Uh, but we got a lot of, we got a lot of stuff going on here, good and bad. So some of you Scorpios that I'm reading for um, will deal with the energy of the Eight of Swords. Now, this is actually a pretty good card to get for your overall energy for the month this is overcoming conflict battles uh not necessarily battles but conflicts and stress uh feeling trapped and fearful uh some of you may have been losing uh sleepless nights worrying about a relationship or someone that you're dating uh it could be with an air sign it doesn't necessarily have to be gemini libra aquarius male or female but i do like the energy for some of you for the month of may overcoming a lot of mental strife and conflict and getting over some sort of fear and feeling uh, trapped okay <clears throat> always good to see that card next what's crossing that eight of uh swords uh scorpio we have the five of cups so this is yeah maybe this is what the five of cups is love and emotions is about a loss of a relationship uh, and feeling somewhat uh, emotionally let down or disappointed in terms of a relationship. So maybe the Five of Cups crossing this uh, Eight of Swords is you overcoming um, all of that strife, possibly related to a loss of a relationship. And it could have been not only with an air sign, but another water sign like yourself, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Both of these cards are in the reverse, in which I like because it's a clearing with the fives and the tens, and it's a clearing of energy so new energy can come your way. So if there are any Scorpios that had to deal with a loss of a relationship, I feel that this month is your turn or your time uh, to recoup and uh, recover. OK, because like I said, there's a lot of messages here for uh, Scorpio something. I see the newness of relationships and then I see the ending of relationships from the past. But it also could relate to endings of a relationship in this particular month, too. So just continue to bear with me. Now, the Hierophant, the major arcana, major life event, this is in the upright position. So I'm getting uh six months going back to a year so you know i can keep the flow of the reading going that some of you were in a relationship with a uh taurus uh earth sign capricorn taurus virgo male or female there may have been talks there may have been an actual um marriage that's taken place six months to a year ago and i'm not getting anything negative out of this i just see that there was some sort of um possible matrimony or there was a connection uh with a scorpio uh with an earth sign taurus that's the only thing i'm reading on this um it's in the upright position major arcana major life event so it's comes in the form of someone either a proposal engagement possible wedding or marriage with an earth sign okay all right so yesterday going back to six months scorpio we have the six of wands in the uh, reverse position so some of you have achieved some sort of a uh, success minimum success related to relationships now i'm getting fire sign energy so some of you may be you know either dating or have dated or in a relationship with a fire sign libra why the hell did i say libra leo sagittarius aries male or female and then I feel that there was some sort of, there may have been an issue with um, this person, or it could be you, that was at a distance. Because this card is all about physical. So I'm, I'm reading it as such that there could have been an interest 
of someone that was a fire sign that was at a distance and there may have been either some sort of delay or postponement with that but there was some sort of uh success minimum success achieved with this card i just see a connection with the fire sign uh with the water sign scorpio yesterday going back to six months all right now moving out into the future we have the queen of pentacles so this is an actual uh, person so it's in the reverse uh so there could be a scorpio too that i'm reading for that's in a relationship again with an earth sign that's uh coming across as being uh somewhat uh, less generous towards you or they're having some sort of issues with material success now the material success involves love and relationships as well because earth signs like to build on things they like they like material possessions uh and it's not the only thing and i'm not speaking for all earth signs i know that they like material possessions but there is a scorpio or two that i'm reading for that they may be dating a, a earth sign and for them, it's about their material possessions and it's not about you. And that could cause some problems in moving forward. This is the potential energy of the single Scorpios meeting a person that is an earth sign that's really going to be all about themselves and into their material uh, possessions. So just be careful that it's, it's there for you to meet, but whether or not you forge ahead or move forward with this individual um, is up to you. Okay, now we have, and this is where I said that there could be endings to relationships for uh, some Scorpios this month. We have the Three of Swords. Now this card is in the upright position and is never a good card to get uh, in doing a general love reading or doing personal love readings either. Uh, it's, it's an indication number one of a I would say a strangulation as opposed to a tri triangulation it's a strangulation someone's being um, affected and afflicted there's heartache there's um, separation this could be with an air sign Gemini, Libra Aquarius, male or female so it could be the Scorpio that I'm reading for that's involved in a love triangulation that is single or it could be that there is an air sign that is attached going towards you. Somebody is not happy here in this situation. There's a lot of affliction, heartache. And this is going out into the future. So this could occur in the you know beginning, anytime in the month of May. But I'm getting it's going to be like the second or third week in the month of May that somebody is afflicted with heartache, a possible split or separation. OK, <clears throat> three of swords in the upright, never a good card to get in a, a love reading. And even more so to confirm what I'm saying. Now you have the lover's card. There's a couple messages here. Because this lover's card, major arcana, major life event, is in the upright. If this card was in the reverse and it sat next to that three of swords, then it would be the Scorpio averting a split separation or heartache with it in the reverse. But because it shows up in the upright and it sits next to the uh, three of swords, that is a parting of the ways of a couple that's going to bring in some sort of uh, heartache and affliction, uh, split separation. That's for the Scorpios that I'm reading for. This card shows up because, like I said, from the very beginning, you know, it's a lot of energy here for you, Scorpio, and it made my own head spin. But the card, the lover's card showing up is still a positive card for those single Scorpios looking to connect with someone new okay so I do want to emphasize that you know so I don't make the uh, reading appear to be all negative it's not it's just a lot of energy that's going on uh, with Scorpio for this upcoming month and 
What's up next after the lover's card is, and by the way, the lover's card is all about partnerships, uh, magnetic attraction, coming together, being on the same page. But that's just for the ones who are single looking to connect. I'm specifically getting a message about a possible split separation with a love triangulation. Um, with this lover's card showing up next to the three of swords. Ace of Wands is up next. Fresh starts, new beginnings. Uh, I see fire signs again uh, with this energy. So the Ace is something comes in quick. So now it sits next to the lover's card. So there could be a relationship that is formed quickly, uh, possibly with a fire sign in the month of May for those single scorpions looking to uh, connect. Um, and it will be an intense if, it, if that's the case. A connection with a fire sign, possibly, but they don't necessarily have to be a fire sign. They could just have fire elements in their chart. All right. So next up we have, OK, five of Pentacles. So it's still all about overcoming loss uh, related to because you, now you have not only the five of cups, you have the five of Pentacles. So it's overcoming a loss. Uh, so it may be related to what I feel will take place in the second or third week of May for some of you. And then the five of Pentacles shows up that you're overcoming that split separation. If it is, you know, involving a love triangulation, but it doesn't, <laughs> excuse me, it doesn't have to be a love triangulation. There is a situation going on with uh, Scorpio or two that I'm sensing. We'll be parting ways this month, okay? And then overcoming any split separation with the Five of Pentacles showing up in the reverse. Fives and tens, reverse, upright, are, is a clearing of energy. So it's overcoming so that you can allow new energy, uh, you know, to come your way. Th then at the tail end of your reading, Scorpio, now we have the Eight of Wands. So this is this is all about, and it's in the upright, it's all about... Uh, receiving communication in a positive way. So some of you Scorpios will be receiving text messages, phone calls, however your um, communication is. Someone may be dropping uh, lines like, um, I've been thinking about you, I miss you, I love you. Um, some sort of heartfelt message that comes in quick. This also relates to a relationship, as I said, with the Ace of Wands. Something starts new. Something physically starts new or initiated with the Ace of Wands. Sits next to the Lover's card. So there is the emphasis of new relationships and endings of old relationships. But something comes in quick and fast with the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands in your uh, reading this particular uh, month. So it's a lot of energy here. A lot of energy here for you, Scorpio. <clears throat> okay, so this is your reading. I was just seeing if I was getting anything else to pass on to you. Okay. All right, so the Oracle... The love oracle card that I have selected uh, for you, Scorpio, to support your uh, love reading from my own created deck, uh, Souls Love Oracle, which is available on my website, of course. Um, we have the cross. OK. In support of the message that I said about an ending. To an, a, a, you know, a relationship or, or, or an affair, this cross comes in to confirm that. Uh, the cross is all about endings, uh, guilt. The other message, though, uh, outside of endings, too, just for some Scorpios that I'm reading for, just be mindful of not either placing guilt or feeling guilty. If it is you that I'm reading for, that has to end a relationship, okay? Uh, this is a card about feeling guilt, guilty, remorse, regrets, burdens, and uh, endings. Okay, so 
even in my own deck, I don't really, you know, see anything in terms of a positive energy because this also too could come out across if I wasn't reading for love readings, it would be like a spiritual thing. Um, but because it is a love reading, general love reading that I'm doing, it's, it's about endings and not feeling guilty, repressed, remorseful, regretful, all of those things associated with the cross. Okay, so that's your reading, uh, Scorpio. Once again, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. I do want to wish you all a, a very safe month upcoming and, a, of course, a month full of love. Until the next time, Scorpio, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.